Want to make your edits look smooth and professional? Today, I'll show you how to create clean animations and transitions in Premiere Pro. Step by step, let's start. First, let's bring in our PNG image. Now, cut the image right from the center. Next, add the keyframe for rotation and move your playhead slightly ahead. At this point, select the first keyframe, right-click, and choose Ease Out. This makes the animation start smoothly. Now open the graph and adjust it just like I've shown in the video. That's the first half of the animation. For the second half, make the image bigger and adjust it properly. Then, turn on the rotation keyframe. At the start, rotate slightly to the right. After that, rotate it towards the left. Once done, right-click the frame and choose Ease In. Again, adjust the graph so the movement feels natural. To make this animation even smoother, let's add an adjustment layer above the cut. On this adjustment layer, apply a Gaussian Blur. Go to Effect Controls. Increase the blur value and add a keyframe. Then, move backward and add another keyframe with blur set to zero. Do the same ahead of time on the timeline as well. Now, right-click the first keyframe and choose Ease Out. And for the last keyframe, choose Ease In. Finally, adjust the graph like I showed you. And there you go. Our first animation looks smooth and professional. Now let's move on to the second animation. For this one, I'm using a brain PNG image. Drag and drop it onto your timeline. Once again, cut the image right at the center of our adjustment layer. First, adjust the image to the position where you want it. Once again, cut the image right at the center of our adjustment layer. Now, let's add keyframes to position and scale. Move the playhead a little ahead, then scale the image up just slightly and adjust the position slightly down so it stays balanced. Next, select your first two keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease Out. After that, go into the Graph Editor and adjust the graph for smoother flow. Now, we'll adjust our second part in the same way, adding more keyframes and making small changes to position and scale. This animation is all about showing you how to smoothly zoom in your image or your graphics. So again, turn on the keyframes for scale and position, adjust them slightly to create movement.
Then select both of these new keyframes, right click, and choose Ease In. Finally, go into the graph editor and adjust the curves like I've shown you. When you play it back, notice how smooth that zoom animation looks. It feels natural, not stiff. And that's the power of easing and graph editing. Now let's move to the third animation. For this one, I'll use our previous project assets. First, I'll make a few adjustments. Then select both clips and nest them. Nesting helps us control multiple layers together as one. Next, adjust the image and cut it again right at the center of our adjustment layer. All right, let's animate the first half. Turn on keyframes for position, scale, and rotation. Now, slightly rotate your image, scale it down a little, and for position, move your image slightly downwards. Once you've set the ending look, select all the last keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease In. Go back to the graph editor and adjust the graph so the animation feels smooth. Now, let's add an opacity animation too. Create keyframes for opacity, starting from 0 and going to 100. This will make the image fade in nicely along with the movement. Now for the second half of this animation, here we'll turn on only the rotation keyframe. Start by rotating your image slightly. Then scale it up a little and adjust the position to balance it out. If the animation feels too harsh, don't worry. Just decrease the amount of rotation. Less rotation always looks more natural. Finally, adjust the graph again for smoother motion.
And now, when we play it back, you can see how smooth, natural, and professional this transition looks. Even though we rotated and scaled, it doesn't feel jerky. It flows beautifully. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below on what effect you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching.